We all as Web3 users have been at that place where you anxiously think if you could press this confirm button or not. If it's gonna just get you that really minted new ear dropped NFT or it's gonna drain your wallet. Well, it's a tough situation to be into. But thanks to transaction simulation in the wallets, now users could see easily what funds are being moved out from their wallet when they sign a transaction. And though it could be tricky to make a transaction simulator covering all the edge cases, but if you are a wallet developer using Tatum SDK, hold your horses. Now you can use transaction simulation right into the Tatum SDK just with one function call. In this video, we'll exactly see how you can do that. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are in our Cursor AI project setup. As you can see, I've imported Ethereum and Datum SDK from main Datum package. And then you can also see I've imported Transaction Simulator and Transfer Class from the Transaction Simulator extension. You can install this extension just by running npm install and then the package name here. And you can see further in the code, I've initialized Tatum SDK to Ethereum Sepolia network. I have my API key here. And then as you can see, I have the transfer payload. This could be anything, but as you can see, I've taken a very simple transfer payload where from this specific wallet, I'll be sending one way to this wallet. Finally, I'll call the simulate transfer function, which takes the payload comes from the extension transaction simulator and I'll store the result in simulation result and I'll log it up. Let's quickly run the project to see the result. Perfect. As you can see with the transaction details, you also get a balance change object, which says that this address will change its balance from this native token that is ETH in way to this. And this address will be going from zero to one. One point to be noted here is that these balances are returned in big number for the balance change object. So you can convert this to any different data type to handle in your use case. In current scenario, I'm just converting it to string to print here in the console. So this was how you can use transaction simulation with just one function call and provide great user experience to your users using Tatum SDK. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you press that like button, subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon so you are notified whenever we release a new video. This was Shift, Product Manager at Tatum. See you in the next one.